You are negotiating terms with a lead investor and they asked you to provide them with a pro forma cap table. <laughs> now what? So just what is a pro forma cap table? It's a spreadsheet data set that the company maintains that shows all equity issued by the company. It will contain some of these items. Let's put all these items together in a clean, easy to read Excel spreadsheet. Use a format such as this to show all the critical elements of your company's capital position. To start, we will list all of the direct equity issuances. This will be to founders and other investors as applicable. In most cases, these issuances will be for common stock or preferred stock. You will calculate the total percentage owned by each of your stockholders. Then, set up a column for your convertible securities, such as options and convertible notes. Then we want to show the fully diluted position of each of the equity holders. You will see how this changes as we add information. We will go over these extra items as we build our table. So let's get into the next tab. In this case, it's our options tracking worksheet. You want to show your investor you keep track of your equity plan issuances and all the details related to the issuances, such as the issue date, the exercise price, and if any of the options have been exercised. These numbers will carry through to your cap table page. And here we are back at our cap table page that now shows all of our outstanding option grants, as well as our reserve in the option pool. Note how this changes the fully diluted numbers. Now we will move to the notes tab, which will show our work for how we calculated the conversion of the notes as of the conversion date, presumably the date your funding transaction closes. Here's some key information you'll need. All the note investors with their principal amount of investment and the note issuance date. The key items you will find in your note documents are the valuation cap, the discount price, if any, and the interest rate. To calculate your price per share, take your capitalization shown on the previous slide and divide it into the valuation cap of 8 million, a term and amount found in your note document. If your note document states a discount, simply multiply that percentage by your new price per share to get your discounted conversion price. Then enter the maturity date, presumably the date your funding transaction closes. The rest of the table will show your work and how you arrived at the specific conversion issuances for each of your note holders. These numbers will also be transferred to your cap table tab. And here we are back at our cap table page that now shows all of our outstanding notes showing their conversion as of the proposed funding transaction closing date. See how this impacts the fully diluted numbers of all of the equity holders? Our final step will show the pro forma percentage your investor will receive upon the close of the funding transaction. This will take a couple of steps so you could show all of your work and how you arrive at your calculations. Let's take a look again at our current cap table that shows our company's current capital position. We will use some of this information to calculate what your investor will purchase. Here's a calculator you can use to figure the investment shares. Let's say your investor will be investing $2 million. Remember our price per share calculation. We use our pre-money capitalization and the new valuation of the company for the investment, in this case, $12 million. Divide the pre-money cap into the valuation and we get our investor price per share. We take our price per share and divide it into the investment amount and we get the total investment shares. Let's show how all of this looks on the final pro forma calculation. Back at our cap table page that now shows our investment amount as it relates to all of the other issued equity in the company. All the convertible notes will convert into the round of equity financing as you see here. This shows the fully diluted percentage your investor will receive. See how all of the issuous securities affect your company's capital position.